Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this very nice 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat. This one, as you can see too, is equipped with the Sport Package. Outside, this one is finished off in a white exterior, which looks great on the vehicle, very nice and clean. You can see on the Lariat, you do get your body-colored mirrors, as well as your body-colored door handles, with intelligent entry built in. But typical Ford, you also do have your keyless entry keypad up there. Very nice. Tinted windows around the rear. You can see your running boards down below. F-150 Lariat badge right there. And your fuel cap on the driver's side. Overall, I just think this is a great looking truck. This one is very nicely loaded inside and out. So you do have a bed cover installed. And then around the rear, rear parking sensors, rear backup camera. This one also does look to have the tow package. And also, one very cool feature is press twice on the key. And just like that, it will release the bed. As you can see, it also is soft opening. Super cool. Your single exhaust down below. And coming up to right here, this one is riding on Michelin tires. They are the Primacy XCs, and they are 275, 65, R18s. So 18-inch alloy wheels for disc brakes as well on this one. You can see underneath, this is a super clean truck as well. Running boards follow through on this side, and I just noticed they are Ford OEM ones. Up front, you can see your halogen headlights, fog lights down below. This one also does have the optional body color painted uh, front grill. Go ahead, start it. does have remote start. Just make sure it's locked. Press twice. Just like that, it will start up. On the key, you have lock, unlock, as I showed your tailgate release, and then panic. Go ahead, get in, intelligent entry, just walk up, grab the door handle, and all four doors will unlock. Touch right there to lock. Go ahead, get in. And you can see this one is a beautiful color combo. It is the white exterior with a black leather interior. Pano roof and your full power driver's seat. Go ahead and start it foot on the brake and just press right here. Go ahead, close the door, and just have the key fob inside the car and you're all good to go. Once you're inside of this F-150, as you can see, the Lariat does give you a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel, cruise control, your audio system controls, and then this D-pad will coincide with that display, which I'll get to in a second. Typical truck, very nice and light power steering. On the door, it's a pretty typical truck interior, but up top, it's actually all nice padded material. You have a padded, soft, stitched leather armrest. All four of your power windows, your war power mirrors, and then your power lock controls down below, power seat memory, and then some storage below that. Over here, your headlight controls, they are automatic, as well as your fog lights, bed light, gauge dimmer. Down below, your power pedal adjustments, as well as your parking brake, which is electronic right there. And then you can see, I believe these are the controls for lights that are built into the side mirrors. Also, this one is equipped with blind spot monitoring and the side mirrors are auto dimming. Also power folding, just press right there. Dashboard itself in this Lariat is all stitched leather all the way across and it just looks fantastic. Up top, you do have some storage, your center channel. And then you can see right here, your gauges, tachometer, speedometer. This one does have just over 32,000 miles on it. Um, on the display itself, you can bring up different truck info, digital speedometer, everything like that. Towing settings, off-road settings, just vehicle settings in general, um, your trip computer, all kind, basically anything this truck can do, you can bring up right here. It's a very neat system. But your tachometer, speedometer, and then down below, we'll show your shift indicator as well as a compass. And up top, you have all of your auxiliary gauges. In the middle, air vents on each side. You have your traction control right there, auto start stop on and off, as well as your hazard controls. This one, thankfully, is new enough to be equipped with the Sync 3 system. So you can go to the home screen and see your navigation, as well as audio system, and then Bluetooth phone. You can also bring up your climate controls on the display. No phone connected at the moment. Your nav, and then going back to the audio system, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, satellite radio, Everything is super easy to use. It sounds great. Bluetooth audio streaming. I mean, everything you would expect. 
shiny, happy people. Like I said, the audio system in this one really packs a punch. Your preset stations right there, four-wheel drive controls, and then below there, your dual-zone automatic climate control. Same for the driver, passenger, and then your heated as well as ventilated seats. They are three-stage on and off for the driver and passenger. For your different zones and everything else. Storage, two USB ports, and this does have a cover that will slide out over it. Two cup holders, more storage, and then this one is equipped with the 10-speed automatic. Just the first one I've driven with the 5-liter and then 10-speed, and this is a fantastic combo. I mean, this thing absolutely rips. You can see your backup camera right there, nice and simple. Padded armrest in the middle, storage inside of there. Do have two cup holders back here. And then up top, sunglasses container, all of your interior lighting around there, your power rear window, which you can open and close from up top as well as all of your lighting controls like I mentioned, and then the sunroof controls. Press right there, it will stop about halfway, and press again. You can completely open the shade for your panoramic roof this one is equipped with. Very, very nice. All the controls up there for that. You can also open it, vent it. You have your auto dimming review mirror, as well as your visor, they have Andy mirror. You can see saw some of the tags from when it was new. And this will slide to the side and extend. So do have your garage home link built in. I mean, overall, this is just such a beautiful spec. This is a nice loaded truck and just a great place to be. We'll go ahead and step out, unlock everything, driver's side window down, and pop the hood right there. Fuel cap on the driver's side is Ford's Easy Fuel System. Stepping into the rear, everything follows through material quality wise. You can see more of the trim, storage down below. Seats, typical F-150 fashion, do flip up and out of the way. You get a nice amount of storage. Stepping in, I know I've always said it in my videos of trucks like this, but these full-size cab ones, I mean, they have a BMW 7 Series amount of legroom. Super comfortable. I mean, I'm six foot two. I have plenty of headroom. Obviously, I can sit behind myself, no problem. In the middle, you do have cup holders, power outlets, USB ports, everything like that. Two air vents. Once again, you can see that beautiful panoramic roof. In the middle, you have an armrest. Right there, which will pop out. Two cup holders built into the front of that. And then the headrests as well, typical Ford. You can flip them down for visibility. Otherwise, on the sides, you do have hooks, lighting, everything like that. Inside of the bed, which is released right there. As I mentioned, it is a soft open. You can see inside, this one does not really even look like it was used as a truck. See back here is your, uh, I believe this is the all weather for the rear seat. But otherwise, I mean, it's immaculate inside. Not even a scratch on anything. You can see different lighting, things like that. So I believe there are some power outlets in there. This, of course, can be removed. So too, you can see the uh, tailgate's so light, I can open and close it while still holding the camera. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. Same goes with operation of the seat, just pops up and out of the way. And I believe underneath of that one is the subwoofer for your audio system. Passenger seat, power as you would expect. Inside of the glove box, does include, looks like some wiring harnesses, different things related to towing. This was all of your owner's literature on this little shelf up there. And up front, we'll go ahead, cut the headlights on. Headlights, as well as fog lights.
And up front, you can see halogen headlights, your fog lights down below, and then under the hood on this one, it is equipped with Ford's 5 liter V8, which in my opinion, this is the best engine you can get on the F-150. It was so refreshing when I picked this up today to get on the road and be in a truck that has the proper engine that belongs in the truck. But great reliability, great sound. And like I said, paired with the 10 speed, this engine feels fantastic. I know I've filmed quite a few of these F-150s, but this one is probably definitely my favorite. Go ahead, get back inside, bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Got it off right here. Move the key and headlights back into auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.